the cashew nut milk that I've made, and we're gonna make a milkshake. Yes, in the juicer, let's go and make a milkshake. So I'll swap that one out, and I'm gonna bring over, for now, I've got the third attachment in here, guys. That is the smoothie maker attachment. So again, same as the juicer, just pull the juice strainer out, put in, the smoothie and you want to use the rotation wipers again okay so you do use it with juice you use it with the smoothie maker you don't use them with the sorbet maker okay pop that in there make sure it's locked in place put the press in and we're ready to go now We've got a little uh, offer for you guys today, those that uh, are watching this live link. All the accessories are about $200 worth of accessories that come with the Kuvings juicer. We're gonna offer them free, so stay around to the end of the show and I'll give you uh, the full package deal of how you can get everything that I'm using today for free. We've even got, check out this guys, this is a citrus juice attachment. So that's gonna pop on there, I'll show you a bit later how simple it is to make some orange juice with the Kuvings juicer. So, right now, we're ready to make some milkshake, okay? When you use a cold press juicer, as I mentioned before, no metal blades spinning fast, no oxygen getting sucked into the smoothie, you're gonna find that this cold press milkshake is going to have more flavor, more nutrition, because it's not getting oxidized from the fast spinning metal blades and the air. So let me show you. Simple and easy, we've got some strawberries there. We've got a banana, I'm gonna do banana, strawberry and cashew nut milk. All right, so let's pop that on. Same with the, uh, with the strawberries, as I mentioned with the bananas, they're frozen, I'm gonna use frozen because I want a little bit of um, cold uh, texture coming through with the, um, with the milkshake. Uh, you could use fresh, of course, but this one I'm going to try with a frozen. So let's start with putting a handful in. Okay, banana. Let me just get this going. One of the things about making a uh, milkshake, a smoothie with a cold press juicer, you just need to take a little bit more time. All right, so it's just squeezing and pressing, remember? It's got no blades cutting things up. So it just takes a little bit of time just to push it through. And now we want to put the milk in. So a little bit of banana, a little bit of strawberry, and then pop in the milk. And you'll see it's starting to press and go through the juicer. Now, let me just clean up a little bit here. Now, a bit more, bit more strawberry. And you'll see what happens is, once I release it, it's gonna start pushing that milk through the press, through the strainer. It's a bit thicker than the uh, juice strainer. And get a lovely milk out of it. A little bit more. So, let me have a look. We've got some more strawberries. They've gone a bit soft. Okay, push them through. Now we're starting to get some juice coming through. What about strawberries? Why do I love strawberries? And I spoke before about how walnuts look like the brain with the left and right hemispheres. Well, strawberries are really good for your heart. Think about them. They're little, they're red, they're in the shape of a heart. And when you take strawberries, they're really good for nutrition for your heart. So when you're squeezing and pressing them through the juicer, you're getting so much more nutrition, guys. So much more of the flavor that comes through. I've got a question coming through here, yep. Can I use fresh strawberries? Yes, I think I mentioned that before. Of course, you can use fresh strawberries in this recipe. Um, I like to use the frozen ones because I just want that milkshake to be a little bit colder as well. So pop some more in, a little bit more milk. 
Now you can see it coming through there. As I said to you before, it does take a little bit longer than if you're using a fast spinning blender to whip it up in you know, a minute or two. But what you'll find is the different consistency, the different flavour, the different taste. I'm sure you're going to love it. You can't, of course, put seeds and blend them up. You're not putting protein powders in, you're not putting oils in, you're not putting the different things that you might put into a smoothie. We've got the Kuvings blender happening here in the background, but you are getting maximum nutrition. Okay, so let me just close that one up. So I've got a glass here, let's have a look. Look how thick that is, guys. There's no air, there's no bubbles. And again, it's up to you how much ratio you put of the banana, of the strawberries, of the milk. Depends on how consistent you're going to get it. Let me have a look. We've got a straw here. Okay, little taste test here, shall we? Mmm. Oh, yeah. The strawberry flavour is so vivid. And look at the colour from what a uh, couple of handfuls of strawberries. It's amazing the different flavour and texture that you get when you use your cold pressed juicer.